Hi, Bruins, and welcome to, ooh, table shake, and welcome to a test review for tomorrow's test. Um, I'm going to go through the questions and explain them a little bit, um, and then go over a couple, of, and go over the essay questions real quickly. So let's take a look at the first um, four questions. You can find the answers on page 152 in your interactive notebook. Um, and it'll be the heredity slideshow. So question number one, do all organisms contain DNA? And the answer is yes, they do. Um, question number two, what are alleles? Alleles are genes for traits and you only inherit one allele from mom, one allele from dad, and then when those two alleles combine, they form a gene or a trait. Um, question number three, what do genes code for and can they make more than one? Genes code for proteins, and so the genes tell the cell to create specific proteins, and they make proteins over and over and over again. So yes, they can make more than one. Um, question number four, do cells in different tissues, and this is like muscle tissue, eye tissue, etc. do they contain different DNA? And the answer is no. All cells contain the same DNA. It just depends on what kind of proteins the genes tell them to make that tells them what kind of cell they're going to be and what their job's going to be. Um, question number five, um, this doesn't have a page number on it because we've talked about it so much, but how much DNA do offspring get from each parent? And the answer is half from mom, half from dad. So half from one parent, half from the other. Question number six. Um, the dominant eye color in Larkies is red. The dominant allele, capital E, produces red eye color. The recessive lowercase e produces, sorry, there should be a p right there, gray eye color. Um, what are all the allele combinations and their phenotypes for eye color in Lurkies? So we would have capital E, capital E, capital E, lowercase e, and little e, little e, and this would be red, this would be red, and this would be gray. All right, question number seven, which eye color in Lurkies is more common and why? And it's going to be red eye color because it is the dominant trait. Um, question number eight, make a data table that shows all of the features, phenotypes, and possible genotypes for Lurkies. Um, you already have this on page 156. Okay. So you're gonna make a data table that has features, genotypes, Sorry, I spelled that badly. And then phenotypes. And you're going to list it like eye color, appendage, fur, and tail. And then you have your different genotypes, kind of like what we did up here and then your phenotype. So you would take this information and you would write it right here. So you have E, 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 and E, E, and the phenotypes are red and gray. Hopefully you can see all of that. All right, flip over to page, um, to the next page, question number nine. If two Lurkies are heterozygous for tail type, what's the probability that the offspring will have bear tails? Draw a Punnett square, give a percentage and probability of phenotypes. So you're gonna draw a Punnett square and we have capital T, lowercase t, because it's telling us heterozygous means 
capital T, lowercase t. Okay, and then we're going to fill out the pennant square. Okay, and so now I have my percentages are capital T, capital T. These are all of my possible genotypes. Capital T, lowercase t, little t, little t. And this is going to be 25%. This is going to be 50%. And this is going to be 25%. Remember, I'm counting squares. So 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. T, capital T, and capital T, lowercase t are going to result in 75% bushy and 25% bare and that means our ratio is going to be 3 to 1. So I have three squares to one square. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next question down here. So we're going to be looking at the cladogram which characteristics do primates and rabbits share? Okay. Um, so we have to count back to all of their characteristics. So hair, amniotic egg, four limbs, bony skeleton, vertebrae. So I'm going to count back all of the um, characteristics that would be shared. Um, next question asks you to make circles where we would see common ancestors. Common ancestors happen at intersections of branches. So that's where we would find any common ancestors. Next one, number 12, mark the common ancestor of am amphibians and primates on your chart with a letter A. So I'm going to find amphibians and primates, and it's going to be right here, letter A. Okay, next one, um, what is embryo development and why is it important information about classifying organisms? When you get your test tomorrow, um, they're going to give you this picture, so I'm going to zoom in on it here real quick, um, and they're going to show you this particular picture where you can see the forelimb, this is a dolphin embryo, um, you can see the forelimbs and then the hind limbs. And so in these stages, okay, hind limbs are visible and then they fuse into a tail. Um, so the question, the essay question is, let me find it just really quickly under here. Um, what is embryo development? Embryo development is just how an organism develops after it's fertilized until it's born. Um, why is it important information about classifying organisms? Because sometimes um, we don't see, if we're only looking at characteristics that are on the outside of an organism, it doesn't always tell us what's going on inside of an organism. And if we look at um, embryo development, a lot of times we can see characteristics like tetrapod characteristics that are developed during the embryo phase that might not necessarily come out during the adult phase. Um, and then question number 14, how does sexual reproduction lead to variation of traits in a population? So sexual reproduction allows for half the genetic information to go from each parent. And I'm just gonna read for you a good example of an answer to this question. And then you can um, make some notes maybe here. Um, so sexual reproduction leads to variation of traits in a population because organisms receive genetic information from both parents. The combination of alleles inherited from parents codes for the traits in the offspring. Over generations, the variation in individuals leads to variation in a population. 
All right, well, that'll do it for our um, test review. And hopefully this helped out for some folks that are still struggling a little bit. And we'll see you tomorrow ready to take a test. Have a good evening.